Kofo, we're in the middle of something here. Hey, Co- hop in, hop in. No, no, hop in. Just come say hi. 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 Just hop in. Come on. I'm looking ugly right now. No, you're not, mate. I'm looking ugly right now, mate. camera right here. Say hi, everybody. We just started. What's goody? Yeah. Thank you, Kofo. First guest. <laughs> first guest. First live guest on the podcast. Yeah. Now get out. Hit a pen, I pull heavy in the lamp on a Eddie. I got three of those running. Valley. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the show with Dan and Joe. This is episode five. Uh, man, we've been having a lot of fun with this recently. We just got on Spotify uh, and Apple Apple Podcasts, and those yep. are doing pretty well. We have a five star rating on Spotify. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that. Yeah. We have like eleven reviews. So drop a five star if you guys uh, you know want to, if you feel inclined to. Um, so as you guys start from the title, we're gonna be talking about like showcases and camps today, going over some more hot takes, as you guys know and love. And then yeah, so we're gonna have a good day of, of content and have some fun. A lot of stuff's been going on these last couple of days. A lot of stuff. Stuff, dude, a lot of stuff. <laughs> like, I, I mean, crazy I mean, stuff, bro. Lance, I don't know if you... Lance McCullers followed me. Lance McCullers, he's verified with 200k. Yo, Lance, if you're watching this, bro, what's up? Hi, Lance. Hi, Lance. Wow, that was awesome. That was uh, crazy. TJ Antone followed me. Crazy. Reds pitcher. Uh, dude, I, I don't. It's crazy. It's been nuts. It's just been so yeah, yeah. weird. I, I hit 12.5k on on Instagram. And like, bro, you were at like I was 10K at, like I hit last 10k week, <laughs> last Friday. So I've two and a half, 2.5k. Like I, I struggled to get to 2.5k, and now I got it in a week or less than a week. Man, it's wild. All I can say is I like, hit 60k on yeah, talk. Yeah, just keep it coming, dude. It's thank you guys. I'm glad. I mean, we're glad you guys are liking it. I think we're kind of filling a hole in the niche of baseball that needed to be right, filled. Dude. Yeah, exactly. 100. Yeah. No, baseball's definitely. been down. I think that it's you need something that's gonna bring it up. <laughs> Make baseball litty again. Make baseball litty again. <laughs> that's awful. But yeah, man, we're gonna have a fun, fun topic today. Fun topics today, and let's get right into it. Personally, personally, I think though, like listening on Spotify and Apple Music. Apple Podcasts, whatever it's called, is is the way to go if you want to just plug in some headphones and walk around, listen to it. Yeah, um, that's the way I like to listen to podcasts. So I mean, check definitely check it out over there. Okay, Joe, our baseball showcase is worth it. I'm gonna keep that broad on purpose. Um, broad question, like you said, but I mean, for me, I think that it's they're worth it if you go to like if you like if you go to like a PBR, um, a perfect game, something like that. I mean, I think that if you go to one or two where you get your profile made and all that stuff, I think that that is. Worth it? You think the seven hundred dollars for a perfect that's, game? That's that's my point. But like yeah. for me personally, I know that like when I went to PBR or whatever, like they make the the video for you, whatever. And I went one time. That's cool. And yeah. and now you can send that to coaches and stuff like that. But going again and again, I mean, it comes a money grab. I don't know. Here's my thing, bro. Like, if you're spending three hundred dollars, PBR I think is probably two hundred, three hundred dollars. Yeah, uh, perfect game is probably double that. Yeah. but you get a little more with it. Or we could do something we got right here, an iPhone. Yep. And the pocket radar is just as much as the PBR showcase. Exactly. If you really want to work on your development, a pocket radar for both hitters and pitchers, I think pocket radars are so underrated yeah. for ex velo and stuff. And just, what is it, quantitatively tracking progress. Yeah. But, man, if you just get a little bullpen. If you're a dude, you're a dude. Like, get a video posted on Twitter. We've talked about that. But emails definitely still work. But yeah. with that said, here's, here's my take on it, if yeah. we can get into that. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude. So I think showcases and camps – Camps are a little different than showcases. Like school, college right. camps are a little different thing, but I think they're worth it only if a a coach is there, like has interest in you, has yep. shown interest, reached out to you personally, and said, "Hey, we want you to come to this camp." Not yeah, just one there, of those broad yeah, emails. Right. Like if you know this coach likes you and knows who you are, or B or two. I don't remember if I said A or one, but or two or B <laughs> <laughs> or two or B. You're you're a dude. You're yeah, a stud. Right. Like you're an absolutely. You're right. gonna make an impact. People are gonna see you and be like, "Holy shit! Why? Right. Why has he not been?" committed here already but like you have to really stand out because yep. those camps are just to make money for like the recruiting coordinators and, and those Definitely. guys who don't get paid as much or th- even the, i think the um there's something going on with the you know how there's like volunteer assistant coaches yep i think a big part of the money they make correct me if i'm wrong but i think the big part of money they make in their annual salary is from you know recruiting kids for those 100%. showcases it right because i mean those are big money makers right. man get you know 200 kids paying $200 right. each. So that's a lot of money right, right there. And but, you go to yeah. one, and the moment you go to one, you get on their email list, and it's like yeah. they send you these emails to make you feel like you're the man, you know what I mean? No, yeah. matter, no matter what your status is, it's like, oh, come to this, blah, blah, and get seen by this many schools, blah, blah, And it's like you spend another m- more money, and then you spend more money, and it's like, wait, what? what is this doing for me, actually? When I was like a freshman throwing like 78, yeah. 79, like not, probably not even because it was like January, February, I went to a BC camp because someone was like, oh, I'm going to this BC camp, you should go. And I was like, okay. Word. My dad was like, yeah, like 200 bucks, you get seen by their coaches. Yeah. And we didn't know anything back then, right? Like, I, you know, it was, we just, I just was like, oh, BC coaches, yeah. maybe they'll either help me out and show me how to get better or maybe they'll like me because I'm a lefty, <laughs> yeah. and, you know. But then uh, I go there and I'm nervous because I'm like, man, these coaches are going to be here. I don't think one BC coach no. saw me throw because nope. at the pitching stations, they had like 
six guys going at once. Yep. Tons of dudes there in their big bubble at BC. I don't know if you've been to the, their thing. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So sick. But um, it's like an MIT pitching coach, a Babson pitching yep. coach, like a bunch of small, like great. Those are great schools, by right. the way. But like a bunch of small UMass, Dartmouth, UMass, Boston. Those guys are running like the stations because they're the ones really doing like recruiting. And then exactly. the head coaches already know who they want to look at. Exactly. Like, they're looking at the dude named Javier Thorne ninety eight. Yep. Like, and exa- not, exactly. They're not there like, for Dan and it's, Thorne seventy eight. It's like they use the top school of the area to bring in some some product, they get revenue. You know I mean? I'm sure yeah, those exactly. D3s pay money to be there, or at right. least making connections with right. those coaches. So, like, I mean, dude, if I was a – I mean, it's, it's a great money maker right. for the and school. It's like, like come, to, come to the BC And camp. you get to see the campus yeah, and stuff, and which is BC, cool. Yeah, I mean, I think BC is one of the nicest campuses in the country, dude. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, beautiful. It's so beautiful. So, like, yeah. I mean, it is. it can't hurt to take the opportunity if you really just love baseball and you go play there. Like, and you want to just Seeing how good people right. really are. exactly, yeah, dude. Yeah. And, like, definitely going to showcases, it would open your eyes. Um, yeah. But it is definitely a money grab. In regards to, like, perfect game, though, and PBR, man, like, I get going to one, right? You go yeah. out there and, you, I mean, no one – okay, if I really had to give advice to, like, a parent or a kid who's, like, 7th, 8th grade, are, is going to a PBR camp worth it? Is going to a perfect game showcase worth it? I'd say no. I'm just going to say, like, straight up no because you, you have your phone. Like, you, if you can get radar from a pitching coach, right. you get radar. Even if you have a pocket radar, you can get all pretty much all the stuff they want to see right. without spending all that money. Yep. And then once you get seen on, like, Twitter or through emails and, like, if you're really a guy that want to recruit – they'll come watch you at a game right. or you'll, they'll invite you to their camp, which right. brings us back to exactly. the camp thing. Exactly. So they'll be like, hey, we saw you throw 86 in your email. Yep. We're interested in you. Um, you know, why don't you come to our camp? And I'm not sure if it, at that point they would, like, you just have to pay a fee. You probably yeah. would because that's just how it goes. But either right. way, like, y- you, there's there's certain things that, like, yeah, it might seem good, like, when a coach is, like, emailing you, like, with your name in it. Yeah, you're like, it's like, what? Oh, like, you know, I'm thinking of, like, Richmond. I've never yeah, seen Richmond. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, Richmond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you realize it's, like, $400. You're like, but Richmond, it's Richmond. It's Richmond, yeah. And, then, it's and, and yeah. then there's 700 kids there, yeah. and you're the worst. <laughs> yeah. At least from my experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And for me, personally, I know, I'm sure some people can relate. My dad, I would have him t- try to take videos of me and stuff, and God awful. God awful. Some people just, you know, some people don't have the magic, magic touch like I do. Yeah, I mean, with the, with some people are, all, aren't all Some people aren't de-sarm. addicted to making content. Yeah, like I mean, <laughs> so it's just like my dad's not addicted to making content. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I mean, definitely. No, because you get the shaky footage. And my it's dad's like, he's like, and he's cheering. He's like, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah good hit, good <laughs> hit, like, yeah. It's like, like, you get video. He's like, he's like, yeah. And I'm like, where is it? You, know, like, yeah. you just got the feel. Remember bro. one time I gave my, the phone to my, or I had my camera and I gave my camera to my dad and I figured you could just, you know, just press with the record button. It's not that hard and he was starting it when he thought he was or he was stopping it when he thought he was starting it and starting when he thought he was stopping <laughs> it so every single for the first two innings he did this i think he finally figured it out yeah but like it was just me catching the ball after i pitched getting back into the mound and right when i get to set <laughs> he video stops, stops. The video just stops so he did that for literally like 30 pitches and it's probably one of your best games i'm assuming that's that was the game against goes. smcc yeah, that's that was, how it yeah. always goes it's really, always the best games you're like you get the footage and they're like yeah and, then you go and it was on my it. nice camera it was like, this camera right here was all high <laughs> quality and yeah but he finally he figured it out but like parents don't really get that stuff no, like, you don't. can't obviously record yourself that's why i think like you know learning how to work Twitter and, and get good exactly. video and see what good, like if you look at a kid on Twitter who's good and then you see why his video did well, it's like probably because it's high quality, yep. he had a lot of stats. Yep. Exactly. And you see the retweets and right. likes and stuff like that. So that's why, that's why personally I think that going to Juan, can't, Juan, yeah. Uno, Juan, Juan, I don't know, man. Can't hurt. I mean, it's a lot of money. It's it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fucking yeah. money, bro. I think PBR, I take PBR money. over Perfect Game just because it's pretty much the same stats. Yeah, exactly. Probably Perfect Game has a really nice database and stuff, exactly. which is dope. You get your PG grade, which right. is cool, but I, I like PBR just because it's cheaper and you, yeah. you get the same metrics. All right, so you probably saw the Nike City Connect uniforms. I think there's only 10. Um, there's 10. I'm going to do my winners and losers. You can do your winners and losers. I have them all right here in case you need to see them. Uh, my biggest loser for it is the Giants. I just I, I don't love it. Like, yep. I mean, it's cool what they're doing. The gradient is cool and like the Golden Gate Bridge. I just don't like how they it tried came to make out. it cool. Yeah. yeah, I just don't love how it came out. It could be cool. Could be. But I don't love it. People are hating on the Wrigley ones, the the Cubs really? ones, dude. The Wrigleyville. I've seen them low on a lot of rankings. I think really? they're dope. They're probably not the like. Up they're not in the, the top best, five. but I think they're dope too. Yeah, I definitely. think they're sweet, yeah. dude. I, I love any Navy and Carolina yep, combo that's too. like dope. Yeah, it is. So, dude, this one had Nationals at six. I think Nationals is one or two. Yeah, me too. Nationals right. is drippy, dude. The pink and the and the it off is, the, the flowers, grayish. Yeah. yeah. I think my favorite, my biggest winner is the White Sox, just because I think all black is so dope yep. with the pinstripes, kind of yep. like Vandy. But the South Side, the font so is so drip, sick, dude. dude. That's so. I could see that like in the '90s if yeah. they did these things. Like that seems like it would yep. be a good throwback one. And I love how the White Sox are kind of on the come up right now. Yeah, like, they are. They really they're are. Coming dude, back. They're always good. Yeah, I mean, they've been good the last couple of years. Big Tim Anderson guy. 
Biggest loser, I mean, I think that Giants obviously is easy to say. I just think that they don't look like baseball uniforms, you know what yeah. I mean? But also, I don't like the Dodgers, bro. The Dodgers look like they're typical uniforms. Yeah, it's not as different. It kind of reminds me of, like, Color Rush in a sense. Yeah, and it looks, it looks like when you go to, like, play MLB The Show, and it's like you can play the, with their practice jerseys. That's what literally what it looks like. Yeah, and you're like, oh, these aren't yeah, these are it's okay. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like whatever. Yeah. But, I mean, I think – so Giants, Dodgers, kind of my biggest losers, definitely the Giants, so regardless – um, I don't know why you said the Wrigley Bill ones are getting shitted on. I like the Wrigley Bill ones. I like those ones. a lot. Yeah. Um, but then again, they're kind of simple. So they are I simple, get it, but, but I mean, it's it's Wrigley, bro. Like, you got to appreciate that. Yeah. White Sox, Nationals are, I think, my favorite. So my, 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 yeah, my top winners are probably definitely Nationals, number one. I mean, the biggest one. I just love those shirts. Like, I would rock that They're jersey, so sick. Dude. I would yeah. rock that. Imagine they had an opposite one where it was like more pink and then gray. I, just literally just I wonder if that, that would look cool. That would be kind of sick. I, could, I, would, I wonder what color pants they'd wear, though. Yeah. White? Pink pants wouldn't be. That wouldn't be the move. That's like some be the show. Yeah, that would be someone like neon green. And neon yeah. pink MLB the show. Yeah, you know, this man. I like yeah. when the NFL did color rush, even though there was some like, ooh, god. Yeah, Patriots. But yeah, like in the the Seahawks one, they really oh, they didn't. My brother them. loves those, dude. I don't know, man. They're, Maybe Madden, they're cool. But nah, these ones are. I think it's good what, <laughs> what MLB's Madden doing. Cool. Yeah, because they distract <laughs> yeah. you from actually trying to pick a play. PFPs are the most useless thing for pitchers. Should take ground balls at short instead. I kind of like that take. I don't know. Man, I've never even thought about that. Yeah, I don't know. I dude. think pitchers taking ground balls at short is great because it promotes athleticism and stuff, but I think PFPs are still pretty important. I think they're definitely important. It's just like awkward getting off a mound and trying to make a play. Like, you right, got to practice that. I, what, mean, the what, banana cuts. I mean, I understand what his point is, but it's like, dude, like, the, the play from short is just 10 times different from... I know. I just I think I think pitchers should field the ball more just normally just definitely. to promote athletic. Yeah. It gets you in that cool I agree natural that. arm slot or whatever and just promotes being an athlete. But, yeah, I think... PFPs, I, I hate as much as I hate them. Yeah. They, they're necessary. They, they're necessary because if you mess up a PFP, it's like right. You're and they're doing in game, like you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah, I mean, I mean you, you don't want to throw you don't want to throw extra pitches because of your yeah exactly mistake. exactly it's, as much as I hate them. But yeah, once you get good at them, it's like fine. Right. But you need to practice them. If like you go to short, that's just. But it's too much. with that said, I do think pitchers pitchers are athletes. They should take more. Yeah, you short. Can, I, th- I like. Throw, I like throw me at short, man. I'll make some magic happen. All right, lefty shortstop. Let's throw lefty shortstop. All right, my guy says throwing hard is mostly genetics. What do you think about that? I think that it's it has a lot to do with the genetics. I think that there's definitely genetics involved. Yeah. Like again, if you're naturally six four and lanky or whatever, and you're just you're your ceiling's ma- higher. Your ceiling's higher. Sure. So I think that can benefit you. You know what I mean? But if you're in the lab working all the time, I think that it's also you can get there either way. But I think if you're genetically blessed, um, I think I think genetics kind of set your ceiling. Like if you're yeah, five definitely. six versus yeah. six six, you yeah. definitely have a way higher right. versus lower ceiling. But yeah, I think I mean obviously hard work and the right kind of work I right. think outweighs any right. of that stuff. But yeah, with that said, there are dudes who were just like born six four two twenty five and are gonna throw hard. Right. And like and the same the same way there are dudes who are just born jacked. Yeah, and exactly. Just like bro. more just athletic. How it is. Yeah. But yeah, I think I mean you could say that about like athleticism too. Like elite ath- athletes can't be trained or something right. like that. But right. you know I think they can. But you know. Genetics there's kinda, a starting platform. Genetics yeah, kind of right, give you right. the the, hand, the deck of cards Definitely. that you can play with. You, but, you, yeah. There's there's people out there you can find who work harder than someone else, but all the kids just genetically gifted more. You yeah. know what I mean? That that's 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 seen all the time. So yeah, genetics I, has a lot to do with stuff. A, yeah, genetics is a lot of it. Even like I mean, you look at even dudes with like high IQs and stuff yeah. like that. Like that, a lot of that is. Just, I mean, obviously you can learn more and educate right. yourself, but it's like, you know. Ceiling is, is coming. Is there a roof? I didn't think I, we, I've is there a second that. floor? No, dude. I don't think there's a second floor. It's just you probably, guys probably didn't hear that. There's just a big stomp. College baseball is better than pro baseball to watch. I agree. I agree with that take. I agree. Uh, besides postseason. I, which makes me Obviously sad. Yeah, post-season. like, uh, yeah, postseason's lit, but like, which makes me upset because, like, I even you could even say the th- same thing about NFL versus college football. I think NFL is definitely still better. Yeah. But yeah, there is a wider gap in yeah. baseball. I think definitely uh, baseball definitely. I think that watching college baseball game. I, mean, I don't know baseball. It's just it's a lot different. I mean, like when you're at the top level, it's there's very few mistakes. I think mistakes are a part of the game and. Yeah. It's less of the game in the MLB. Um, it feels like there's more on the line with college baseball. Hun- there is. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, because it really there's is. Rankings, and that's why, you know I mean? that's why postseason for baseball, for, N- or for MLB, that's why the postseason is so cool because right. there is a lot on the line. Mm-hmm. But regular season, especially like a game that doesn't matter. Oh, man. So many those games, games are bro. So I mean, it's, it's well, every game. You can say the same about college, I guess. But, right, yeah. but like every, I mean, same thing as college, but like MLB, it's, it's a three game series, whatever it is. There's a lot more traveling involved, yeah. I guess you could say. But it's just such a longer season. It's and so long, bro. Yeah, like, it's 162 so long. games, and I, I I get not wanting to change it because I like the records and stuff like that, and you don't want to mess that up or anything. But yeah, it's long. Right. 162 game, but baseball, like you know, it's meant to be played that way, yeah. like throughout a long right. season, because then you really see like the cream rises to the exactly. top, yeah. like you yeah. know who's good. But man, like it's long. <laughs> it's it a long. It it's a grind. Long. But yeah, I do like yeah. yeah. When you when you're watching like an OB game and you see a starting lineup, like you know who the players are if you know yeah. baseball
And when you're watching college baseball, like I'll throw on a college baseball game and some guy will have a hell of a game. Like who is this guy? I don't know. You know I mean, what you mean? can look him up on Instagram. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, so it is kind of. Cool. I think that college baseball is definitely. I think, college, especially as like a, we're 19, like seeing kids who are our age, our a little age, older, yeah, a little younger, point. whatever, like seeing them is like, oh, I can relate to that guy, yeah, or wow, exactly. that guy's so much better yeah, than me. Exactly. Oh my it's god, sick. like I suck. Yeah. yeah, no, it's like cool. It's cool <laughs> to watch. Press now seeing 18 year olds on Miami throwing 96. Nah, it's like weird. Okay, genetically blessed by the way. Word, that sucks. But yeah. hey, it is. What it is. <laughs> Depth is what separates mid-major D1s from elite D2s and D3s, etc. Uh, I think D1s obviously win the depth. But, like they're gonna have more depth because they have more, more scholarships yeah. and because they're D1. Like right. people want more. People want to play yep. D1. Uh, I don't know. We've been throwing around the term mid major a lot, but I think I, I want to say low mid major. Low but mid major. I, I kind of just say mid major because yeah. you're looking at like Coastal Carolina is a mid major. Yep. Mid major. Uh, Dallas Baptist a mid major. Yep. Gonzaga is a mid major. Yep. So it's like I gotta be kind of careful throwing that that term around. But low mid majors, I think, still probably have more depth than like most D2s and D3s, yeah. but then you get to the elite versions of D2s, D3s, mostly D2s, yeah. and then the, uh, the bottom half of D1s, like the depth kind of comes I think the top, the top five, the top 10 of D2s will have more depth than low mid majors. Yeah. I think that that's, yeah. just, that's just true. Um, yeah, I think that definitely, when you, when you, of course, when you get to the higher level D1s, it's, you're not touched, like, yeah. depth-wise, ever, there's, there's arms come out there. Well, yeah, you're looking at, dude, like, you could cut that team in half, you can get the bottom half of a Power 5 yeah, and team, could, yeah. and they would, like, blow out most any yeah. D2 team yeah, yeah, like they played. It like is. it's just how it is. Yeah. But because they just have so many guys and it's exactly. like kind of making them like they're they're preparing they're all going to the same program. They're preparing yeah. them to be the guys that are on the field exactly. in two years. Exactly. So it's like they're studs. And yeah, they get yeah, all those yeah. they get the dudes with the most potential and then they, you know, it's just mm -hmm. how it is, man. Right. But yeah, that's just that's the truth I'd say. All right, my guy says Oregon has the best uniforms in all of college baseball. I I I, I can't disagree with that take more. I think Oregon's great, but they just have so much potential and they don't take advantage of it. I disagree. I like their softball jerseys. Like why is that? Why do you like their softball jerseys? They look good. They're good jerseys, all right? Um, well, why is that? Um, I don't know, dude. I think that the softball jerseys of Oregon just look good. I mean... Look, dude. Here's the thing. <laughs> 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 you just, I just saved you. Nah, or, okay. I'm looking at their ones right now. Okay, they're not that I bad. just looked them up. I mean... I <laughs> just like the one. <laughs> no, the green ones are cool with the Oregon yellow right there. Okay, I'll give them that. I just don't love the ones with just the O. I don't right. love. I don't love that, bro. It, like, Ole Miss powder blues can't be touched. Yep. Sorry, That's, they can't. Yeah, Tennessee's drip. Tennessee has drip. Vandy has drip. Yeah, drip. I, if I could, if I looked at a list right now, I could probably like find a better, better top three right there. But that, that's I'm riding with that top three. I agree. I, I think that Ole Miss is a is a runaway first. Um, the powder blues will not be touched ever. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'd say my favorite uniform is probably the Ole Miss Blues, but um, overall, like the if you're looking at like the three, three pack, man, I don't know, Vandy, Tennessee, I don't know, I don't know. I, I don't like the Ole Miss Blue, the Navy ones. Those are I think they missed with that one. It's just not as cool as the other. I two. just think that the powder blues and the reds yeah. are just so untouchable the that it just power. So it just brings them like love. the Phillies throwbacks. They're like they're just exactly. like that. Like but the, the Cardinals maroon the Cardinals though, yeah, the Cardinals. Ones um, too. But yeah, I think the Vandy's definitely second. Um, Texas. Tennessee, I just like those colorways. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, but Oregon, no. Yeah, Oregon, I think Oregon could do better because it's Oregon. You know what I yeah, mean? They exactly. One hundred percent do better, bro. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. But hey, softball is nice though. Not saying they aren't cool, but they're not. They're not it. You yeah. know what I mean? They're not him. They're not him. They're not him. But they're her. Here's a take that I thought was pretty hot, and people are probably gonna get mad that I even am saying it out loud. But this guy said Chipola would beat FSU in a series this year. Yeah. And before yeah. before you say that, I actually did research. I you actually did, did research. I did my research. Yeah, no. you, you told me. I I, I know. Um, so I looked at Chipola's roster. They have a, a, a Miami drop down, a Maryland drop down, and then I don't know if you can say drop down because it's Chipola, but yeah, you know what I mean. Like they have down. a bunch of D one yeah. Power Five drop downs, and I didn't, I couldn't find where their committed guys are going. But FSU is not having a strong season. I yep. know that. I just I don't know Chipola enough. I don't even know FSU enough to be honest. I just know FSU's not having a great season. I know they're having a great season. I mean, it's a great program. I know that. Um, I just think that Chipola is just. So good, bro. To take it a step further, I saw someone say that Chipola would have a winning record against every team in Florida, any level, which I think that's just way out of I don't luck. know. Dude. No, come on. That's just way out there, dude. Know. Like Florida, come know. on. Gators, bro. Gators are slapping them. Miami? Miami's the third best team in the country. Yes, that, that's one that. That's true. That's, that's a, true. That's, that's a true. miss. Florida's gross, too. Yeah, Florida's drip. But Chipola, dude. I don't know. Like I, I'm, just, I, I, I'm sure they're really yeah, good, right, dude. Right, I right. saw a stat that in 2017, Chipola had 14, uh, 14 draft picks. Right, dude. In and that's one what I'm year, saying, bro. It's like that's wild, dude. And I'm not sure how many went versus state. Right, matter, dude. And like, if you look at their alum and everything, it's like they got the dudes, man. They, like, they got dudes, bro. And it's yeah. like they could have dudes that just couldn't handle the schoolwork part of 
playing Division One baseball. Sure, you know or I mean? just like yeah. one of innings. You know right, what I mean? Exactly. Because so. like we were saying earlier, where it kind of goes back to like the guys who are being like, you know kind of groomed to be those junior senior starters, yep. but they don't really want to wait. They want to play as freshmen. Play right away. And coaches kind of do whatever they you know they'll say like, oh, we'll get you innings, yeah. but then stuff changes and they don't get right. them innings at their those Power Five schools, so they go JUCO, yep. try to find a new route yep. and develop. And you know everyone kind of has their own uh, journey. I saw one comment or one uh, hot take it was from coach coach put it in the thing oh, really? he said transferring doesn't always solve the problem and i think that's a great take yeah. to because a lot of guys transfer right as or maybe when there's been some problems and they don't stick it through and i've from guys i've talked to who wanted to transfer and didn't transfer they always say it was a great decision right and sometimes people transfer and it's a bad decision yeah. so i don't know i haven't been there but yeah i don't know personally i mean i think that if you're looking to transfer in a transfer portal you should have like a valid reason and it should be I don't know like if you're like a good school you know and like you're not playing right away like trust the development you know like i think you should trust the development in that like you know who, who knows who you're going to be like when you're a junior senior even a sophomore you know what i mean if you're going to transfer as a freshman make sure that you're yeah. not the right place you know what i mean oh i'm all for betting on yourself and like yeah, taking a risk definitely. and taking the leap I, you know so it's hard for me to knock a guy for betting on themselves yeah. and like wanting to right. transfer so it's, it's very dependent on people's situation but i mean i know people who have transferred and it's been the best decision exactly. made that's i know people I have stayed that, and, yeah so i think that like you need to have like you got to make sure that you're making the right decision, right? And like you said, I think yeah. that always bet on yourself, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like put yourself in, like, if you're a freshman, like, be like, you're not playing, be like, what am I going to be doing in two years at this school? Like, yeah. trust that, you know what I mean? If you're a good program, bro, trust trust your coaches. I remember, like, my my like my like older brother, Carson. Carson always, he he's the guy, he went to UConn, he was an All-American at UConn, he yeah, always yeah. chirps our takes, yeah. and which is fine, which I love, but it's like... He told me as a freshman, he thought he'd be, he he had a good fall, but didn't play much in the spring. I think, and he was like he wanted to transfer really bad, just, but you know, some I think it was maybe his dad or some coach maybe told him like just wait, like yeah. your time your time will come. Right. And ended up being an all American, got drafted, and perfect example. The rest is history. So example. Shout out Carson, I love you, bro. Exactly, bro. Yep. But that's why you got to sit down, talk to your coaches, be real with yourself. Real with your coaches, like tell them what your goals are and stuff like that. So I think that matters a lot. All right, yeah, that's gonna do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to uh, drop a five star on Spotify. That's just so dope to say. Five star, bro. Five Spotify star. is um, sick. That'd be dude. sweet. Spotify's dope. Apple, I keep saying Apple Music. Apple I can't, I can't say <laughs> um, If you guys are, you know, watching on YouTube, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, man. Hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. Like I said, a lot of stuff. A lot fun of stuff, stuff in the works. A lot of stuff in the works. Oh man, we are we're doing this, bro. Like all you guys gotta know is like we're just gonna keep getting better and better. And uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to exactly. be a fun summer. Going to keep pushing out content. Um, fun summer, like you said. I think the summer's yeah. going to be huge. Um, but, yeah, uh, keep listening. Drop a comment on YouTube. Definitely give us a review on Spotify. Let us know what you want to talk. What, what you want us to talk about, bro. Exactly, dude. Anything, keep making man. fun of me. Do whatever you need to yeah, do. Yeah, get us those views, man. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. That's going to do it, Joe. Anything? Any last comments? Uh, like I said, just continue to love. Or hate, yep. whatever you need. Yeah, either way, <laughs> either way it works. You need. Uh, all right, yeah. Every and also, talk. Lance, bro, if, you li if you're listening, dude, what's yeah, up? Yeah, Lance, what's up, bro? And I was about to say, every comment counts the same to the algorithm. Yeah. You know what I yeah, mean? Exactly, so, dude. especially if you're getting an argument with someone, that's right, even more right, comments. Right. But, all right, nothing, nothing about that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Peace. Peace, y'all. Peace. Peace. Peace, y'all. Peace. Peace. Southern accent. I'm Southern. Peace. Peace. Hit a pen and I pull up heavy In the lamp on a eddy I got three holes run the valley In New Dior's, not for belly Stay that money, I for Perry I shoot jumpers, call me Larry Then they ain't Yonkers, I need a Navy Don't need a sponsor, already heaven They calling me the main head to slow down, I done about two